Hi everyone, in this video we're going to compute the determinant of this matrix using the TI-84 calculator. So the first thing we have to do is type the matrix into the calculator. So there's a blue key here called matrix, so we have to access that key. Because it's a blue key, you first have to hit the button called second. So we're going to hit second, and then I'm going to come down here and press this X inverse key, so matrix. And now we have to enter the matrix. So names lets you access the matrices. Math lets you do math with the matrices and edit actually lets you enter matrices. So we're gonna use the right arrow key to navigate our way to edit. So let's do that. And let's just go ahead and pick the first matrix here, uh, which is A. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so now we have to enter the dimension of the matrix. So the first number is the rows, and the second number is the columns. This matrix has one, two, three rows, and one, two, three columns. So three, use the arrow key here, three, and then enter. And now you simply enter each number and hit enter after you enter the number. So negative one, make sure to hit the negative key, so negative one, enter, four, enter, four, enter, three, enter, one, enter, five, enter, zero, enter, one, enter, one, enter. So it takes some time. Feel free to pause the video as you enter your matrix. It takes a little bit of work to get used to this. So we've entered uh, all of the data. Let's just uh, double check. So negative 1, 4, 4, 3, 1, 5, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so now to exit this menu, because we do have to exit it, we have to hit quit. So hit second and then mode. So now we have to go back into the matrix menu. So second matrix. And so now you see that it says 3 by 3 here. So our matrix has been stored in the calculator. So we want to compute the determinant of this matrix. So we have to go over to math, and it's the very first one there, debt. Debt means determinant. So you select that. Now you have to go back to the matrix menu. So again, second matrix, select your matrix, close the parentheses, and there it is. Four is the answer. Let me go through that again because it takes a little bit of work to do this. Once you know how to do it, it's not difficult, it just takes a little bit of time. So let's go to second matrix. You go over to edit, you hit enter, you type everything in, then you hit second quit. Then you go back to matrix, go to math, select the determinant, then go back to matrix, select the matrix, close the parentheses, hit enter, and there is the answer. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it. Take care.